Okay, everybody, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. We've been talking about the efficiency of your life, dilution of hours. How many hours, how many minutes in an hour do you get? Still enjoying the cup of coffee. So, how do you make your life more efficient? So, I want to give you a couple of principles. I'm not saying in any way that I've mastered these principles. Let's not let's let's be clear clear about that. We're learning together. The first area, and I think the most important area to begin with, is the area of control. If you want to understand what is one of your greatest time sink sinks in my ability, is the disconnect between what you think you control and what you actually control. The desire to control something. Let's make it easy. The desire to control the train, plane, or traffic when you can't. That like you're like staring, you know, outside, you know, at the cockpit or you're staring at the traffic. You're trying to like see what's happening. You can't believe you made a right turn on the side street. Why did you get off the highway for? I can't believe you chose the left lane into the tunnel. What were you thinking? I can't believe I listened to Waze. I can't believe I didn't listen to Waze. I can't believe it's traffic now. Can you believe it's traffic now? You know what time it is? What is taking a pilot? What in the world is going on? When are we moving? We gotta go on the tarmac. Checking the app. Waiting for that 20 second update from the pilot, which never really gives you much. All that energy, you could picture it like draining out of you. Like when you, and I'm the same way, I do this like a half a week ago I'm not joking last week like I had to drive back from New York City to like Long Island forget about it forget about it as you can tell from Brooklyn forget about it I got off this highway and then there was traffic I'm like what am I doing I made the wrong move I'm negotiating with waves I'm rerouting waves 20 times I'm, I, half of my drive home was like out figuring out traffic who cares it, I didn't. I didn't get home two minutes earlier. What I did though is I drained my energy. All the people you're trying to control that you can't. All the conversations that you think you're gonna have, but when you actually have them, you are such a softy. All of those conversations that when you're talking to your friend or your colleague or yourself, you're gonna be so tough. And then when you get in the room, you're, you're mush. All of that prep work, all of that toughness, all of that I'm going to say, all, gone, ne never happens. All of the things you want to control, all the people that you read about or that you watch that you get mad at. Do you have any idea how many people are spending half of their life mad at people that they don't even know? It's unbelievable. You're mad at this politician or that politician. You're mad at them, like mad. You see them and you, your, your skin boils or you, you get upset or you hope they lose and you check online to see what's going on. You're mad at this group of people or that group of people. You're not involved. You're not doing anything. You're not like volunteering. You're not giving money. You're just mad. You're just upset. Gone. It's wasted. Drains right out of you. All the things that you think you can control, but you can't. You think you can influence, but you can't. It's all, it, it sucks out more energy, believe it or not, in my opinion, than actually if you could control them. I think it's less intensive to actually be doing the work than to be the person watching the work. Because doing the work has a time of intensity and a time of being finished at a time of downtime, at a time of vacation and breaks and weekends. When you're not doing the work, you're just watching the work, it's a constant obsession. And it drains and drains and drains. Dilution of hours. Dilution of hours. Hours and hours and hours. Watching hearings, watching 
uh, press conferences, watching news shows, watching, watching, doing, talking, podcasts, visiting, analyzing, reading. It's fine to be informed, but there's a level that it just becomes dilutive to your life. People during COVID, my gosh, obsessed with death stats and every day checking who has COVID, who's sick, how many people, what are the age brackets, how many died, who's vaccinated, and how many, what's the percentage of my community? It's ridiculous. You're sitting at a home, just what are you doing? Dilution, dilution, dilution. But let's get a little more sophisticated before we move on. Then there's like the more subtle control stuff. Controlling your your employees. Controlling your children. Controlling your spouse. Controlling your family. Controlling your parents. Controlling, controlling. Thinking that if you say this thing or do this thing, that you can control it. And you're never able to control it. Really. And just the thinking that you could control it creates this incredible gap between what is and what isn't in your frustration. I told her 10 times, why doesn't she listen to me? I told you we shouldn't have. Getting mad, creating problems, causing family drama. Do you know how many people I think are out there? If you look at their life, it's like... 50% 50% of the year was spent on like drama over like the same eight people that they're all related to. At the end of the day, who cares? They don't because if God but one of them gets sick, everyone forgets and forgives. Dilution, dilution, dilution. You want to know why we're exhausted? Because we think we can control it. Anything you think you can control that you can't is diluting your hours. Diluting your attention. It's diluting your energy. It's diluting your life. You go to bed at night tired and you don't get stuff done. You go through a year of life and at the end of that year you don't look back and go, that was as productive as the year could be. You go through a decade of life and you're barely any more evolved than you are the decade earlier. And you look and you go, how is that possible? I am working. I am tired. I don't remember getting a good night's sleep in a long time. With, with some rare exceptions, I don't have lots of time off. Why in the world am I not? My wheels are spinning, but why are they, they not hitting the pavement? And I think the answer is because the wheels are spinning to two dilutive things. We are not aware. And it's so common. Forget the stuff like... A party that you go to is that should be an hour. It's like a six-hour or Forget that stuff. Good times. Enjoy. Some of you don't forget that stuff. But whatever. It's fine. You go to a wedding. It takes 12 hours. Whatever. Six hours. Fine. Okay. It's a wedding. God bless. I'm talking about trying to control something. Getting mad at the child because they won't listen. When you can't control the kid 16, 17, whatever. Getting mad at the spouse because the spouse is not you. And as much as you want them to be you, they're not you. So they don't think like you. You keep on trying and it ain't going. As opposed to trying to be influential and trying to add value and trying to be inspiring and trying to be encouraging and trying to be empowering, we're trying to be controlling. And then with frustrations. All that does is suck out your life, dilutes your out. You're still here, but thank God. You're still working. You're still doing. You're still carpooling. You're still cooking. You're still eating. Whatever. Looks like it's a normal life. And then at the end of it, you go, what's going on? I need more help. God, I need more help. And God's going, I don't know. I give you a lot of people. I give you a lot of people. I mean, some people... This doesn't apply to some people are going through some serious challenges, but there's some people. God's like, I don't know. You're healthy. There are no Cossacks down the road. 
plenty of food, roof over the head, heat in the winter, AC in the summer, enough money in the bank. Like, I'm not saying you're rolling in it, but you got enough money. Like, I don't know what you're complaining about. Like, really? Like, most of the stuff you're complaining about, you're just self-imposing. What are you, what are you bringing it up to me? What are you demanding me for? You got a lot. I mean, you really got a lot of resources there. And we don't know what's going on because our hours are diluting because we're trying to control things. So what could we control? Let's talk about it manana. All right, everybody, have a great day. With the help of God, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Living on a lifeline The world doesn't ever seem to change Looking for the sunshine But you're caught up in the rain It's like your eyes Are wide open but you cannot see You're watching life Pass you by like one, two, three Walking in destruction The winds of life Blur your vision All the devastation Forever feels like you're on the run It's time no one else can set you free, you're locked inside And only you have got the key